God, go to sleep. For the love of God. Hi. So today I want to talk about why I chose to do cloth diapering and why you should choose to do cloth diapering for your babies as well. Um, let's just start with the basics. So first of all, everyone knows that it does save money, right? But like, what does that mean? How much money does it save really? Because it does take a little bit of money to start up with, um, but it, you end up saving money in the long run. So first, um, let's say your baby goes through about eight diapers a day. You take the price of diapers and, you know, let's say for a box of like a typical brand of diapers um, for about like maybe 75 or 80, maybe 60 to 80, something like that, you're going to spend about 25 to $30. Each month you spend about maybe a hundred dollars on diapers. I know that with my twins I was spending about that much. Uh, they would go through so many diapers that I would just, it was driving me insane. I was like, I'm, I'm not going to keep up with these costs. I'm, you know, I am a single mom and I try to, you know, do my budget and stay within my means as much as possible and disposable diapers just weren't in my budget anymore. So I decided to take the money that I had and instead of spending on disposable diapers, spend it on cloth diapers. Um, which at first I was like, oh my God, it's really expensive. But then I started looking at other options. You know, the Grovias were too expensive for me. That's like $20 a diaper. I've heard they're great. I've heard the views, but the price just wasn't good for me. So what I did is I um, looked on YouTube for reviews about like cheaper diapers. So I found, um, like Nora's Nursery, I found Mama Koala, I found Alva Babies, which I have a lot of, and then there's other um, off um, off brand sites that you can go to, like storebaby.com. I'm a huge fan of storebaby.com. Um, but anyway, and those were some cheaper options for me. So to get started, I ended up spending about mm, like 350, I think. Um, another reason why you should want to cloth diaper is because it's a lot easier. And I know people are like, oh, the laundry, the laundry, you're going to have to do laundry anyway. So you might as well just add another load in there. It's just one load, you know, and um, to do the laundry of cloth diapering is not that hard. I mean, it's a, it's a cold rinse. It's a hot, cold cycle. Boom, you're done. One load is it. You don't want to, I mean, I see moms like, you know, going, you know, two or three days without doing laundry for their cloth diapers. And I just think that's insane. I have to do mine every day. Maybe if I had one baby, I could go every other day, but I have to do it every day. Like I just put my load in just now, just, you know, and it was a medium load. It's not like it's going to be this huge, large extra load that you're going to have to do. And you know, Oh my God, it's so much. And you get overwhelmed. No, it's, it's not, <laughs> it's not that serious. Um, but what, I think the number one reason why I chose to do cloth diapers is because I'm very environmentally conscious. And um, if you look on like the EPA and like Livestrong.com, they'll tell you like all the um, the ways that disposable diapers like end up in the landfills and like how much is in there. So like, um, I got it's two hundred thousand trees that get used each year for disposable diapers. Um, in addition to that, there's three point four billion gallons of fuel oil that takes to get um, disposable diapers made. That's a lot. I mean, that's a lot just for diapers that they're just going to pee and poop in. Huge thing right there. Not only that, but it uses 20 times more raw materials, two times more water, and then, you know, three times more energy. <laughs> this is energy that the world has that we are taking from the planet to make these disposable diapers. Um, it takes 500 years for disposable diapers to decompose. I don't even want to think about what that does to the groundwater. <laughs> well, that's eventually going to do the groundwater. So, I mean, these are like tons and tons of, of diapers that get stuck into a landfill and just decompose over several hundred years. I mean, you know, there's no way to recycle a used diaper, <laughs> but you can definitely strip those cloth diapers and sell them on uh, Craigslist for sure. It saves you money. It's easier than having to go to the store and having to worry about diapers and you know, worry about, oh no, like I, I don't have enough money for diapers. Like I, there was a point in my life where I was worried about where my money for diapers was going to come. As a mother, it was a very helpless feeling to, to have to not be able to care properly for my babies. And there was a point in time where I couldn't. 
So um, cloth diapers, you don't have to worry about going to the store. They're right there. Just make sure you're staying on top of your laundry. So that's two reasons. So they're easy, save money, better for the environment, so much better for the environment. Better for your baby's bums. They, my babies don't get rashes anymore. Like if I were to leave them in this, you know, the diaper um, overnight, because they don't really wake up at night. They wake up to nurse a little bit, but they're not really, you know, wake wake up and I want to party at 3 a.m. like some babies do. They're really good babies and they just kind of want to be nursed a little bit and go back to bed. So they're in that diaper for like 12 hours. So that's like all the, all the like chemicals getting on your baby's skin and like causing rashes my babies don't have rashes anymore and they're in that diaper for 12 13 hours at a time like they're the overnight diapers um you know during the day i change them about every two and a half three hours that i just use coconut oil on their little bums and it's fine um you don't want to use like you know things with a lot of zinc oxide and petroleum on your um, baby's bums because it can cause repelling and cause staining in, in your diaper but the uh, absolute covers. best reason nobody wants that the prince i mean look at this it's a sugar skull Look at it! Oh, it's so cute on my baby's bum. Oh, I love them. <laughs> Look at these little froggies. Look at these little froggies. Isn't that pretty green? I mean, I just love these colors that... These are Alva babies, by the way. This is a mama koala. Look at that print. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's like something that I would decorate my house with. I mean, really, like these covers are so cute. <clears throat> Actually, my mother <laughs> um, did like the... Um, you know, just the the pre, the, you know, pins and everything like that with the with the cotton material, and then she put like a rubber thing over it. That's not like that. You know, they're they're very cute, and <clears throat> even though they can be a little bulky, just imagine this: when your baby has a full diaper, it's a little it's a little bulky, right? This doesn't change. This bulkiness doesn't change. If anything, it gets smaller because it's absorbing the liquid. I've noticed that, so um, it won't stay this size. I mean, it's just a little puffy when you put it on. But, I mean, you can get different kind of inserts. I just chose the cheapest inserts, uh, cheapest route to inserts as I could. So, yeah, I love cloth diapering. And if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to ask them. And I'm sure I'll be doing more videos on cloth diapering. So, um, if you have something you'd like to see or have any questions, please uh, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like if you did like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see what's going on and how I stay mostly sane. All right, take care. <laughs>